My name is Bansi and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 1 of Diva Log 2020. So for all those who do not know what a Diva Log is, it is basically a series of videos wherein YouTubers upload back to back videos right from the day of the Shera till the day of Diwali. So make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you do not miss on any upcoming videos. Speaking of which, happy the Shera to all of you guys. May this the Shera bring a lot of joy in everyone's life and the Shera is the day which is known for truth winning over evil and let's just pray that this pandemic ends as soon as possible and our lives become normal as earlier and yeah lots of love to you guys. Moving on to today's video, in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you a facial slash cleanup slash weekly pamper routine with you guys. So if you guys know me, you guys know that I have extremely oily skin type and I tend to have a lot of blackhead issues on and around my nose and just because of this concern, back in the day I used to go to a parlor to get my facial or a clean up done and I have never ever left the place with a happy sight on my face. The parlor lady used to apply a lot of pressure to a point where I would cry myself out and there's so much redness on my face. So I decided to do my own stuff myself and if you want to know more about it then please keep on watching. So without any further ado, let's just get started. I would like to start off by removing the facial hair and the peach fuzz that is collected on my face and for that I like to shave my face. This is the razor that I use for shaving my face and make sure that the razor is properly sanitized before you use it on your skin. So before starting off shaving your face, make sure that you are applying any sort of gel on your face. In my case, I am applying an aloe vera gel and I feel that applying a gel makes the process a lot more smoother and faster. So when you are shaving your face, you don't have to hold the razor directly on your skin. You have to make sure that you are holding it at an angle on your skin and you have to be very very gentle when you are doing it. Now for my eyebrows, I would just like to remove the extra hair and I'll not mess up with the shape of my eyebrow because I don't think I'm a professional and I don't want to mess up with my eyebrows. So I'll just mind my own business and get the extra hair off of my eyebrows. After shaving, we will move on to cleansing. So for cleansing, I use this good and old Himalaya Neem Purifying Face Wash and I'll quickly wash my face with this face wash. After cleansing, we will move on to scrubbing. So for scrubbing, I am using this Biotic Bio Papaya Revitalizing Tan Removal Scrub. This scrub is for all skin types and I have mentioned this scrub in one of my previous pedicure videos if I am not wrong and I absolutely love this scrub. It is very very affordable and it does the job very nicely. So scrub your face very gently in circular motions for around 2-3 to three minutes and make sure that you are not over scrubbing your face because you just want to remove the dead skin layer from your skin. If you are a beginner in shaving your face then make sure that you are not shaving and scrubbing your face on the same day because it might cause a little bit irritation on your face. I can do it because my skin is really used to it. By the way, all the products that I'm mentioning in this video will be there in the description box below so make sure that you check it out. After scrubbing, we will move on to steaming our face and I like to add a little bit of aloe vera gel and some rose petals in my steamer because it gives that extra glow on your face and it's Diwali and you want to look your best in Diwali and you want that extra glow on your face. So steam your face for about 5 minutes. Because of the whole pandemic situation, I think that most of us might be owning this steamer in, at our place but even if you don't, you can always use the traditional way of steaming your face and that works just fine. After you are done steaming your face, we will move on to removal of blackheads which is in my case the most concerned thing by the way. So for removing blackheads and whiteheads, I use this tool which you get easily in the market for around 15 to 20 rupees and start removing your blackheads with the help of this tool and make sure that you are not applying too much pressure 
and almost puncturing your skin just apply a little bit of pressure and if the blacker is coming out then it's well and good but if it's not coming out then don't force it to come out after removal of blackheads we will move on to applying a face pack on our face and for that i'm using the biotic bio fruit depigmentation tanned removal face pack this face pack is also for all skin types and plus this one is also an affordable face pack so i'll apply this face pack and let it sit on my face for around 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse it off with normal cold water seal the deal by applying your favorite moisturizer and your favorite lip balm and i'm using the pons super light gel oil free moisturizer and this moisturizer is for all skin types and this has a gel kind of a texture so people with oily skin type are going to love this moisturizer and yeah that's it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful in some way and If you did then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't I'll see you tomorrow until then bye